Hi everybody! Um, so today was supposed to be a tutorial on sewing, right? So I went the other day and I bought this beautiful pattern. I was going to make the one, uh, the black one. But I wasn't going to make it black, I was going to make it green. So let me show you the finished product. Okay. Isn't it beautiful? Except let's just show the reality of this okay okay um here we have all this extra fabric which was good because like in this case it looks great but it's wrong side out so threw that away cut out some more which is why i always get at least two yards or so of extra fabric not really but i always get extra fabric um this is my sewing machine, and for some reason, it wants to come unthreaded all day long, and it's been driving me crazy. Um, I have, like, pattern pieces all over my sewing room. Um, these are instructions, and they're in English and, I think, French. So, I guess people that speak English and people that speak French are big sewers, seamstress i don't i don't know i don't know what the word is um people that sew i might as well have read those instructions in french i know i don't speak french but um they were kind of hard to understand for example now i'm a novice at this and okay so there's like all these steps um okay edge finish long edges of vent extensions. What is a vent extension on a dress? Hello, is it air conditioned, heated? I don't know. Um, insert invisible zipper on center back edges following manufacturer's directions, stitching remainder of center back seam to large dot, back stitching to reinforce seam. To form vent, machine base from large dot to lower edge along solid line. Hmm, well that's easy. No, it's not. So, I've never done this invisible zipper thing before. So, I was going to turn that around, but it didn't turn. I'm trying to turn the hanger so you can see it. Uh, yeah, well, I'll hold it. So, this... This zipper's not invisible. It's a zipper, and it will zip the dress, but it is not, not invisible. Um, but it's green. So it matches. Uh, so uh, this lovely sleeve is so pretty. This lovely sleeve. I forgot him. <laughs> but it's okay because after I finished this today, I went into the bathroom and I was so excited because the dress was finally finished. I'm just gonna try it on. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm wearing it to church Sunday. Everybody's gonna be saying, oh, where did you get that beautiful dress? And I was going to say, I made it myself, being all, you know, uh, modest and everything. Okay, so I go in the bathroom, and I try the dress, beautiful dress on, and I'm like, ah! It doesn't fit. Not only does it not fit, it's like 14 sizes or so too small. Um, yeah, it's probably more my fault than it is the dresses. In fact, it's probably not the dresses' fault. It's probably my fault. Um, yeah, because I like to eat. But I've been on the keto diet. I know you want to know that. Um, it's going pretty good. Even though I've eaten like six eggs just today because I don't really do meat for protein. And I'm still getting the hang of what I can have, what I can't have, so I know I can have eggs. So I'm going to start clucking pretty soon. Um, this is my dog. Come here, Milo. Uh, this is my doggy. Oh, he's going to be shy. Okay, well, that's my dog. And, oh, now he's going to come back over here. Hi, Milo. This is Milo. He's about 200 years old. Um, but he thinks he's still a puppy and he's still my baby. So he thinks he can just follow me wherever I go, which uh, is my sewing room right now. He insisted today that I make him 
a little blanket in front of the window so he could sunbathe. Um, oh, you might have seen the other half of the sewing room when I panned over. Yeah. That right there is trash. It's like a whole bunch of mess ups. Total mess ups. Um, yeah. But I've done some good stuff too. So hopefully in this little YouTube thing, I will be able to show you how to do some very basic sewing skills, which I may or may not know how to do, but we're going to fake it. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go hem the rest of the sleeve. I don't know why, because I'm not going to wear it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe Milo could make a bed out of it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I've worked like a week on this dress that doesn't fit. So I'm going to go um, hem it. And the next time I'm on here, I will show you the hem. And maybe I'll have something else to show you. Who knows? Thanks for joining me. Bye.